Winning Shopify store designs, what do they look like? Hey, what's up guys, it's Brendan here, and today we're going to be going through a few different six-figure Shopify stores, looking at exactly what they're doing for their stores, why their store designs are so well laid out. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. I'm going to show you some of these examples. Alrighty, so the first store that we're going to be taking a look at today is Spigen. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these Shopify stores are actual, like, big brands. So obviously, it's going to be difficult for you to exactly replicate what they're doing, but I do want... I did want to make this video to show you guys like what they're doing well why they're laying their stores out in a certain way because even though they're big brands they still need to be selling their customers doing all the type of stuff that you guys need to be doing when you're getting your traffic to your Shopify stores and you know how to sell people and convince them of hey you should buy this product okay so we're gonna be going through you know what these probably over six-figure stores probably close to a million dollar stores are doing well on their websites and these are Shopify stores I found these off of the uh, myip.ms the Shopify uh, domain so these are hosted through Shopify if you are wondering uh, a lot of these are probably custom themes uh, and, and like I said to you guys it doesn't exactly necessarily mean that you need to go out and get a custom theme but without further ado guys let's go ahead and look at Spigen just what their website looks like so as you can see on the front here this niche is the phone case niche as you can see they have a lot of different case collections uh, and I don't really necessarily recommend to you guys the phone case niche right off the bat because it's not super passionate, but the way that Spigen is doing it is they have created a phone case brand and are really focusing on the emphasis of like sleek, sexy, similar to, ha to how Apple designs their website. If you go on the Apple website, I mean, everything is really, really nicely laid out. Everything is really sleek and smooth, and that's exactly what they're doing here on the Spigen website. Everything is laid out. They even have the different phones here. So that's a really nice little feature they did with their different collections. So you can kind of see like the iPhone 8, the Plus, the X, the Galaxy S9, and so on and so forth with the Note 8. Uh, so you could click on what kind of phone. These are probably like the most popular phones currently. These are the newest ones out. So that's what people are going to be buying cases for because they haven't had the phone for a long time. So like, hey, I got to get a case for my new phone. Uh, and that's what they're really marketing towards is those kind of people and just creating like a nice brand, okay? If you're going to be going into the phone case niche overall, like it needs to look really sleek and really cater to people. They probably run specific ads depending on people using certain types of phones as well. Uh, that's something you could do with uh, Facebook targeting. Uh, and then they also have just branded all these different types of products. These are clearly this like mount and stuff. You could find these on AliExpress super easily, um, you know, and you just have to make sure that the quality is good by looking at customer reviews on AliExpress. Uh, they, they also have this charging uh, device here, so you can charge your devices. So they have these extra products, you know, the phone cases are their main seller, and then they also offer these other products almost as upsells here with different collections, like, you know, Ride With Ease. They're really selling you on on these products okay they're not just slapping in your face like oh buy this product you know and you notice there isn't even any pricing on their homepage here because they're just trying to like introduce you into the brand and try and sell you like oh this is so great they even have little pictures here uh, from their customer bases that have bought some of their products and what they like from them uh, and as you can see they have you know their little information down here 100% guaranteed their social media links everything 30 days satisfaction authentic uh, email address newsletter sign up just the basics down there I mean pretty much everyone has that on their stores but if we look here you know they even have the Apple keynote you know kind of like a to increase the branding and awareness there so let's go ahead and take a look then at one of their product pages more specifically so let's actually just go to like this mount let's see what that looks like okay so we're going to the collection so it brings you to all the different mounts that they actually have I think I have seen this theme before where it has the colors I'm not familiar with exactly what the name is but see this uh, tablet stand here I actually have an anchor one as you can see it's literally the exact same stand you see this uh, stand right here exact same stand I have different branding so this one that I actually have is from anchor right I put my phone on this just to hold it up a lot of times when it's on my desk and they have a little tablet stand here selling it for 20 bucks I'm sure that they make sales on that I mean look it's the exact same product different branding right there goes to show you where they're making it from is clearly Chinese manufacturers that's how they're getting the exact same product Spigen and anchor I mean right there I didn't even plan for this to happen I just was scrolling and was like whoa look at that uh, you know that just goes to show you how many products companies copy from one another uh, with different branding okay so like 
popular products, obviously they sell well. I own one of these. Uh, it's a very simple product. So, you know, you could see like the type of stuff that you could sell on this type of store as long as your branding is really nice. So let's like actually look at this uh, product page here to see what they have set up. So as you can see, they have a nice description here. They even have writer review, which no one has. I mean, hardly anyone actually really writes reviews. They have a full features and specs section, and they probably do this for every single product, okay? Because if they're driving traffic directly to a specific product, you know, people, this is, this is, this is why they buy, okay? They're really convincing someone to actually buy this product. A lot of you guys just leave the default AliExpress descriptions. You don't create like a really nice custom, you know, something se actually selling you on the product, okay? You need to be doing that when you're driving traffic to your store to make sure that you're actually going to get some conversions because, you know, if you're just driving people to a crap page, and there's not really a nice description actually selling them on the product, especially if you know that it's a winning product, you've seen it working on other stores, uh, you know, you're not, you're going to get left in the dust. You're going to get blown away from your competition. So this is the kind of stuff that you need to be having on your site uh, in the details section in these images. I mean, you're all, everybody is competing with Amazon at the end of the day. If someone sees some crappy description, they might just price compare to Amazon and be like, oh, I'd rather buy it from them because I've already trusted them before. I've already bought through Amazon. They might just go to the alternative, but if they see a really, really nice description, they might just be like, oh, I just need to buy this now. They also have orange add to cart button, which is really, really nice because, you know, I recommend you guys do either orange, yellow, or red for all of your add to cart buttons. Just some sort of cue within there. I'm not saying specifically, yes, do orange. Every single product, every sing or every single store needs to be orange. Like, you could do any uh, color within that hue because uh, it increases heart rate and more people buy on those kind of colors. A lot of stores I've also seen have opted for green as like a button because it's almost like a green like money, like trust add to cart. So that also has worked for some stores. Uh, it just depends, you know, what you're trying to do there. But most of the time I would recommend like a bright, bright color to get people's attention and to get them to click that add to cart button. So. As you can see, really, really nice product descriptions. They're really, really selling people on the product. And you know, if you're going to create a store that's focused around phone stuff, you know, you have to really go all out. You can't just pick a bunch of popular phone cases off off of uh, AliExpress and expect them to sell really well. Okay, you have to like really go out there and make sure that they're actually good products that you think would really sell to people. Okay, because. Otherwise, you know, they're just gonna see it and be like, oh, this is just some random dirty store. I'm not gonna buy from them. So, uh, moving on to the next one here is Allbirds. So, Allbirds is a shoe store. Uh, from what I've seen, they shop men, shop women. So, their homepage is really nicely laid out here with like a nice graphic design, uh, you know, showing you the products, like the quality levels here with their shoes. Uh, and their products and stuff like that. Now, obviously, you don't necessarily have to create something as extravagant and as crazy as this is, uh, but just make sure that, you know, on your homepage, it's selling people. Obviously, you probably don't have, you know, news uh, people reporting on your stores, obviously. But regardless, it's still, it shows trustworthiness, okay? So if you create some sort of sales page, similarly to how the uh, Spigen did on their product pages, like you gotta create a sales page and a sales funnel for people to actually buy from your store when you're sending traffic, okay? If it's just a bunch of products just on the store, like what is really making someone wanna buy that, okay? Probably nothing, okay? So moving through here, let's go ahead and take a look at one of their product picks here. We're gonna move through this one into the next one pretty quick, but uh, just moving along here, cause you're gonna see a trend. I mean, a lot of these stores do very similar things when they're selling their products. And obviously, you know, you're not trying to sell shoes, you're not trying to sell like the, maybe the same kind of stuff, but I mean, it, there's basics to all e-commerce stores, and that's what I'm getting across in this video. Is there are, there are basic elements that you want to have on your store to be able to get sales. So as you can see here, they have different colors. Their website design looks really nice. They use a lot of uh, Instagram pictures to show, uh, you know, like customer pictures to show that like people like wearing the shoe. They even have a sales page here showing all the different parts of the shoe. I mean, once again, a sales funnel, okay? That's what these product pages do to actually get you to convert and get people to want to buy their product, especially because they're selling this at a much, at quite a large markup. They probably make these shoes for like, uh, I mean, it'd probably be like 20 bucks. I can, pro probably less than that, honestly. Uh, and they're making a large markup on these shoes, okay? They're nothing like crazy. They're just wool like shoes okay I mean they broke it down here it's a wool shoe like it's not 
is not crazy, okay? They're obviously selling this at quite a large markup and they're getting thousands upon thousands of visitors a day uh, and making money, okay? So moving along into the last one here is G Fuel. So maybe some of you guys that are into fitness have heard about G Fuel. I've never actually used their products, but I see them all over the place. I think that they sell in Walmart as well, uh, but G Fuel is a massive, massive brand. They're even using like uh, Riff Raff as a celebrity endorsement, no matter how goofy that that picture looks with him holding G Fuel as if he, you know, uses that on a day-to-day -day basis, sure. Uh, they have a focus on a lot of bright colors. Uh, so that's something you guys could do with your brands is make sure that things are just very eye-catching. Uh, depends on what type of aesthetic you're trying to go for for your store. Obviously, it varies from person to person what kind of preferences that you have for like what you actually want to do with your stores. But G Fuel, as you can see here, Sour Cherry, best sellers. You know, they have the best sellers at front and center because that's what people go to and buy. So when you start having sales, put your best sellers on the homepage so that people are actually more willing to buy from it because that it's like, hey, it's you've already shown that it's it's working. It's gonna work for more people. I mean, it's the same difference with YouTube. That's why you put your like popular videos at the front of your channel most of the time because people will be like, oh, wow, that's a that's a really good one. Let me click it. You know, it's the same thing with products. It's a bestseller. More people are probably willing to buy it. Obviously, now they also have a sales funnel here. Like, what is G Fuel? They explain the brand. They explain, oh, 25 calories, antioxidants, sugar free. You know, they're explaining the benefits of the product. They even have their collections really nicely laid out. This looks like a very expensive theme in comparison. Even these two other themes are not like as expensive. This one looks like a lot more of an expensive theme, but regardless, like I said, you can still create a lot of this same type of elements on the free themes with Shopify. Uh, you know, so it, you don't necessarily need the really expensive themes to make things work. They obviously have, once again, like, the, like they did here on the homepage, I think it was Allbirds. So they showed at the bottom, yeah, as you can see, these are like uh, testimonials almost from different brands that you may recognize, like Business Insider, Forbes, uh, InStyle, Time Magazine. They also have like Inc. 500, uh, Twitch, uh, MLG. I'm not really familiar with a couple of these, but these are like different gaming brands seemingly or fitness places that people may be interested in buying this product through. Uh, so, you know, they're selling you here. They even have blog posts as well uh, to talking about G Fuel Scoop, like different news articles. That is another way to build out your store is to do SEO. So do like different articles on your website. You get some good uh, passive free traffic from that as well. Uh, moving right along then as well, they have uh, different types of shop G Fuel. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of their product pages under their boxes, excuse me. Uh, so as you can see under their boxes, they're selling. This looks like almost a convenience store would buy something like this. So let's actually go to the tubs then. Uh, moving into probably they have protein powder lots of uh, yeah see so they have a lot of just massively eye-catching flavors I mean even just looking at these they're selling me just by the picture I want to buy one of these like rainbow sherbet that looked just interesting so if you guys are selling stuff that can get people's attention like this I mean this is just like mouth-watering looking at this page and you know these aren't these are just like like powders okay you know, a lot of other brands that I've seen for energy, so it's pretty much energy uh, formulas. They don't they don't sell you as much on like oh it's so like electri electrizing or, or uh, electrifying. Can't speak English. Uh, and you know they're really selling you on these bright bright colors. Uh, another brand that does this within the energy niche is Ghost. Uh, they're another. They probably copy G Fuel a lot of the time uh, from what I've seen with their store design and stuff like that. But as you can see, I mean very eye-catching very nicely laid out descriptions everything is really selling you on the product they have related products they're not doing as much on actually selling you on the individual products mostly because they're they're selling you here with these pictures okay they're selling you with the whole with the uh, celebrity endorsements obviously that's probably not something you guys can get for your Shopify store right away uh, but you can see like they're selling you on this home page teaching you about the product you know, just these images alone are so eye-catching that that is selling you right away. I mean, for them, they just need people to like clickbait into it and buy the product. So, so I hope this video helped you guys figure out, you know, what six figure to million dollar stores are doing so well on their sites, why they're using certain elements to help sell people and sell their products. Okay. If you guys are interested in learning more about Shopify, I actually have a full Shopify mastery course link down in the description box below. Be sure to check that out as well as a Shopify 14 day free trial. Both of those are linked below. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.